Hello viewers, today we are going to discuss what is a hidden for a uh, helper in a razor view. So normally hidden uh, we know that uh, so input type hidden in HTML it will generate um, as the hidden um, values so we can store some hidden values into that uh, uh, tag and we can push it to the post method. So the same way uh, HTML uh, dot hidden for is going to help us so i will show you one simple example how the hidden for is working in a razor view so here i have a predefined generated login page that uh, you can uh, if you create a dmec application with the default uh, uh, generated files you will get this login form here uh, what i am going to do i going to add a mm, one more uh, property in my model so here uh, what I going to add is I going to add some property called public one second public integer type user role okay so uh, here default uh, this login page I going to use for my uh, normal user so that a uh, normal user have an identity as one so I going to uh, default uh, I going to set for the login page but uh, it should not uh, visible to my user so for that reason I going to uh, do such a things so here I go uh, uh, okay somewhere uh, yes after the checkbox here I going to add my hidden for HTML dot hidden for m dot m such that m dot m dot user role okay and I'm going to set my value property new two one okay so like this I am just uh, setting my property so let me go and uh, run my application so I just uh, go and use without uh, debug mode okay my login page is uh, going to open in my in a browser so it's just building uh, so application is already built out. so now uh, it's uh, waiting for the response okay my login page is uh, loaded so uh, here I'm not uh, seeing any hidden for field uh, uh, so how I, I came to know that uh, so such a uh, uh, field is generated in my backend so uh, let me before that uh, okay uh, I just go on to inspect my page so I added after the checkbox okay uh, just expand that so we'll find out I think it's there in this group under the checkbox yes yes so if you see here so my input uh, field user role is generated but values actually it's not added so we'll see why it's not added here okay it is a strongly typed so we can't assign the value like that yeah if you use the hidden maybe we can okay fine uh, so it's my wrong uh, suggestion okay fine so uh, how to avoid that uh, so this uh, this is strongly typed so you can't assign the value in the runtime so this will uh, get uh, rid of uh, your uh, uh, HTML attribute so uh, so how to assign it yes uh, you can do such a things by uh, go to your controller account controller so go to your login uh, get method so here you go and create on uh, instance for a login view model called model okay quickly yes a new login view model so here uh, you just to go and assign the user role okay model uh, dot user yes role equal to one okay fine just to uh, pass this model uh, to your view 
okay fine uh, go and build uh, your application okay fine so uh, so everything is set so yes uh, uh, you can't assign directly like that otherwise uh, you should uh, forcibly uh, insert by using a jquery or some client script so yes now this is hidden for is a strongly typed so you should uh, handle this in your controller yes my application is uh, built out so let me go and uh, refresh again my view yep this time uh, you got the value equal to 1 so you, you can see this input so it is generated uh, in the browser but uh, you, you can't see it because it's a type hidden so it's generated as a type hidden input uh, type so the value which you passed from the controller it's uh, having because why uh, you can't be able to assign is because uh, I am using the strongly typed uh, concept so strongly typed you should uh, manage in your controller level yes because you can't assign directly the view because it's very strongly typed dynamically the data will uh, flow into the this page yes you can't make it static so hopes uh, you understand uh, so uh, let me go and do the post uh, so whether I am getting this value in my backend so this is my login method so I uh, commented my other uh, stuffs I don't want to show only I want to see this okay let me go and run again my controller in a debug mode Okay, uh, so my breakpoint is uh, built out. So yes, uh, my uh, login page is uh, loading again. Okay, so uh, my login page is completely loaded. So yes, still I have a value one. So let me go and uh, try to post it. Uh, so uh, okay, I just add some uh, dummy value here. Okay, password and click login. So I am in a post. so I'm in a post method so uh, let me go and expand my model what which I received yes I got the user role is one default and whatever I just uh, enter the email password dummy and uh, remember me anyways I didn't select anything so it's coming as a false and yes my user role which I set it here as one so this is the way uh, to get your hidden field and uh, you 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 can assign your value in a hidden field because hidden field uh, normally uh, generally it will helps uh, you to hide some value and you can post that method uh, method so hidden for is uh, it's uh, recommend you to uh, post uh, some uh, data or store some data in a dynamically so you can't assign this value in a static that you know you don't because we faced that issue yes uh, you can use the hidden to add some value in the razor but you can't use a hidden for hidden for is especially for a strongly typed so you can pass uh, from your get method and you can post that ma uh, method um, in a written type so hope you understand what is the use of a hidden for thanks for watching the video guys please uh, comment if you have any doubts queries uh, please subscribe our channel if you not subscribed before